right here. We're in the building, baby. DSG, I like so All right. Take a I walk this earth like a god. You scared. What? 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 You scared. What? 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 You scared. What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Canelo talking about coming back and fighting before Cinco de Mayo. Now that Willie Monroe put him on blast for not wanting to take that fight. Yeah, you ain't hear nothing about the motherfuckers coming back to fight until Willie Monroe Jr. basically exposed them for avoiding the fight. You see, nobody wasn't even really talking about this shit. Canelo's trainer said that bullshit like what? Immediately after the motherfucking, um, the fight, the, the Canelo Smith fight, he said that we had never fight Monroe. No one. He knew that Willie Monroe Jr. had a contract for that fight. And he said it right after the fight. When was that? September the 17th? So even if he said it's September the 18th, what's today? October the 7th? And um, Willie Monroe put the motherfuckers on blast, you know what I'm saying, a couple days ago. And now, all of a sudden, yeah, he, his hand isn't too bad. And um, he's going to take the cast off. And if he, he doesn't have any pain in his hand, then maybe he'll come back to fight. And he'll fight three times next year. Yeah, okay. Let's see Willie Monroe Jr. get the fight that he earned by beating Rosado. Y'all motherfuckers looking for easy opponents. You see, Canelo's expected to win that fight. So I don't know why the fuck they don't want to take that fight. Yeah, he's not going to walk right into your punches and make it easy for you. But you're supposed to be a better fighter than Willie Monroe. Give him his opportunity. Give him the fight that he deserves. Coming with this bullshit. If Rosado would have won, you would have fought Rosado. Probably in December now, wouldn't you? You know what I'm saying? But well, now, now y'all talking about coming back to fight because y'all owe him a fight. Y'all know that's bad business to get his motherfucker contract and not give him a fight. You know, I hate when these motherfuckers do this bullshit. Because Canelo is an, is an amazing fighter, man. Some, you know, some pound for pound list got Canelo as number one. And, um, you know, it's kind of hard to argue with that. Because Canelo has been in, you know, quite a few big fights. He's really like the number one draw, you know what I'm saying? There's other fighters that got, you know, more titles and, and doing bigger shit legacy-wise. But far as, you know, money-wise, bringing the money in, yeah, he number one. But it's kind of hard to rank him over fighters with three belts and shit like that. But, you know, when fighters that I really know is great fighters and even capable of pulling off a fight is starting to act like they don't want to fight, kind of piss me the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all giving these motherfuckers... It's the same thing. Look, man. Canelo fought Triple G. I mean, um, uh, Willie Monroe fought Triple G. He lost. You know what I'm saying? So why don't you go and fight Willie Monroe? See if you can um, have a better performance than Triple G did. The same type of shit with Laura. Laura gave Canelo hell. Why Triple G don't want to fight Laura? Why don't you go and see if you can have a better performance with fucking Laura than Canelo did? No. Nah. You want to fight motherfuckers that's... Perfect for your style. Liam Smith is an aggressive fighter. Angulo is an aggressive fighter. Amir Khan got a glass jaw. Come on, man. With the bullshit. You can't have it your way. Everybody ain't going to have this style that caters to your style all the time. You got to be ready for any style, any night, any fight. You know what I'm saying? Because these motherfuckers that fight aggressively, you don't know if they're going to go out there and then try to outbox you. You know what I'm saying? Fight a completely different fight. Get that man a fight that he deserved. If y'all didn't want to fight the winner of the Rosado Maro fight, then y'all shouldn't have presented them with a contract. Just being that sure that Gabriel Rosado was going to win the fight. Why was you so fucking sure? Why? Well, because Willie Maro was a, a smaller fighter than Gabriel Rosado? Or because Gabriel Rosado lasted longer with Triple G, even though he ended up looking worse? I mean, what's up with that, man? Maybe if the fight was close, they might have even tried to rob Willie Monroe so they can give Canelo the, the Rosado fight. So, you know, Eric Gomez released a statement and he was like, it is possible to see him fight three times in 2017. The doctor told us that the important thing is that there is no fracture. Yeah, all of a sudden it's now is no fracture, but before he had a fracture. So he will remove the cast and once he begins to re rehabilitate his hand, we will get a report on how he feels, and if there is no pain, you might see him fight the last week of January or early February, and then later on, as mentioned, in May and September. Gomez statement.
president of Golden Boy Promotions or whatever the fuck his rank is. Yeah, go ahead and get that fight out the way. Like I said before, man, look, okay, if you injured, yeah, you do need some time off, but somebody got a contract to fight you, you know, and you really need to honor that contract. Don't start fucking over your fighters. The word gets around, you know, and then it's going to be out there that y'all give motherfuckers bogus contracts. Y'all can go ahead and lie and try to build up hype and say, yeah, maybe we'll fight David Lemieux. Uh, maybe we'll fight Billy Joe Saunders. Maybe we'll fight Curtis Stevenson and then make the fight with, Millie, with uh, Willie Monroe. You know how they do. Motherfuckers be talking to shit just to get hype surrounding the fight. And then you go through with the fight that we expected. So I'm expecting Willie Monroe Jr. to get a fight late January or early February. You should, it should be a winnable fight, right? Willie Monroe Jr. did lose to um, Triple G. He does only have six knockouts, so you shouldn't have to worry about getting hit too hard. You know, you got to worry about getting out box. But hey, Canelo is a great boxer. Y'all seen all that shit he was doing with Liam Smith. Liam Smith was going into that fight off of knockouts and looking great against motherfuckers. Canelo doing all kinds of Mayweather impressions all on the ropes. You know, and, and he wasn't phased by these punches that Liam Smith was landing. That was knocking everybody else out. I mean, he won every round, knocking motherfuckers down with head shots, body shots, all that good shit. Had head movement the whole nine. You're a good boxer. You know, you got some slow ass feet. You know, you move around that motherfucker like a mummy, but you know how to cut the ring. You got a good style. Canelo's an entertaining fighter to watch. Now, the Willie Monroe Jr. fight is not going to be the, the prettiest fight that we've ever seen. It's not going to be very attractive, but... We'll see Canelo get tested, you know, because um, personally, I think Triple G is like his style is tailor made for Canelo. You know, and Triple, Canelo going to knock Triple G the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Triple G, y'all see what Kell Brook was doing to that motherfucker? You know, he was backing up, but he was kind of like boxing him in the pocket. You know, he was getting distance when he needed it, but he was still tagging the fuck out of Canelo. So, I mean, he was tagging the fuck out of Triple G. So, you know, um... Triple G go running up on Canelo, who hits far harder than Kell Brook. It's going to be night-night. It's going to be lights out. Triple G, his face was gradually getting busted up more and more and more after every single round. You know what I'm saying? And um, injury or not, Kell Brook was going to take that fight. You know what I'm saying? If they want to stop the fight, even if he's seen four Triple Gs, he was outboxing all four of them Triple Gs. So Canelo knock his ass out. He's, he's, his style is like kind of like the, the type of style that Canelo liked to fight. You know, Canelo going to have a field day with Triple G. Willie Monroe, on the other hand, is going to be out on the outside boxing. It's going to make for a more competitive fight. You know, don't believe the hype of that hype job, Triple G. It's going to be a big fight because Triple G got a lot of hype right now from fighting the fighters that he's fighting. Willie Monroe is going to present a different problem. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to, we're going to see Canelo test it. See where his boxing ability is at. See what he's learned from Floyd Mayweather Jr. for real. You know what I'm saying? When you fighting a fighter, that's not just going to walk into your shots. You know what I'm saying? So you can counterpunch him to death. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be looking forward to that fight. Canelo should be expected to win a fight. Don't be scared. It's going to be okay. All right? It's going to be all right, man. So I'll be looking forward to seeing Canelo versus Monroe. Late January or early February. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a cool fucking with you.